You may ask the question, Shelley, how can I make it through uncertain times? How can I remain steady during dark times? I'd like to talk to you for a minute about Jesus Christ. And in case you're not sure about who he is, he is God in the flesh. Jesus Christ is 100% God, 100% human. He put on human flesh and came to this earth for the sole purpose of paying for our sin so that we could have restored relationship with God. And you talk about dark times or uncertain circumstances, times that just rock your world. Jesus is God, perfect, holy God, but he comes to earth, he puts on flesh, and I mean, he was misunderstood, he was poor, he was mocked, his best friends deserted him, and then he suffers on the cross. Imagine suffering on the cross for sin when you never even committed sin. You talk about darkness, times of mystery. As a matter of fact, when Jesus is dying on the cross, he cries out, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? The humanness of Jesus really felt that pain, that misery of being forsaken by God. That's a dark time. And yet we know God did not forsake Jesus. The Father did not forsake him. The Holy Spirit did not forsake him. Because even though Jesus felt that feeling, that darkness, he was raised from the dead. God never let go of him. The Father never let go of him. And Jesus rose from the dead and ascended back to heaven. And he has always been in perfect unity with the Father, with the Spirit. But he felt that forsakenness in his flesh. Why? So that you and I would never have to. He took the hit for that on our behalf. That's why Hebrews 13, 5 says, God says, never will I leave you, never will I forsake you. So even if, like what Jesus went through, you may feel in your emotions, feel in your flesh that God has forsaken you, my friend, if you are trusting in Jesus Christ as your Savior, God cannot, he will not forsake you. Even in the darkest of times, he'll be there holding you and he will pull you through. And one day he will take you to heaven to be with himself.